cord. So if a recipe calls for three and a half cups of flour, how much flour will be needed if the recipe is triple? All right. So we've got to triple three and a half cups of flour. So we need to essentially triple, triple the recipe means three times all the different ingredients. So definitely three times the three and a half cups of flour. So we have to triple three and a half. Now triple means you multiply by three. You go three times three and a half. You okay with that part? Yeah. And we multiply, the problem is now we got to multiply like a, a whole number times a mixed number. But what we need to do is convert to improper fractions. So that's three is three over one and three and a half. We need to convert that to an improper fraction. So two times three plus one is the way to do it, right? Two times three plus one over three because that's six halves plus one half. Three, the whole number three is six halves. Six half plus one half, seven halves. Any questions there? No. Do, can we cross cancel any common factors? No. Right. There's nothing that we can cross cancel with the top and the bottom. So now we just multiply the fractions, multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. 3 times 7, 21. 1 times 2, 2. So we have 21 over 2. 21 half cups of flour, which is a very silly way of describing it. So you would never say, I need 21 halves of flour, right? You would say, I need... You would convert that to a <laughs> mixed number, right? So mixed number, 2 into 20. Ten times. Right. 2 into 20, 10 times remainder, 1. So 2 into 21 goes 10 times remainder, 1. 10 and 1 half because it's, in fact, 20 halves plus one half. 20 half cups of flour plus one half cup of flour is 10 cups. This is 10 plus a half, right? Any questions on that? Yeah. 